Welcome to Yogaya Back Pain Relief Sequence. Let's start in Hero Pose. Placing our hands into our sacrum with the fingertips pointing down, we're going to exhale and contract the lower belly. Expand the spine inwards as we cave in and inhale Shift forward into a release, into a flat back. Do not arch here. And exhale, cave in, bend your elbows. Look at your navel. Inhale, shift your torso forward, hinging at the creases of the hips. And again, exhale just a couple of times to gain more length through the lower back. Inhale forward, keep on lengthening the lower back as you shift forward, exhale, move in like a shell. Inhale one more time, reach through the crown of the head, soften through your front ribs, bend your elbows, exhale, cave in. And last time, inhale. As you exhale, lift your hips off your heels. Bring your shins so that they are parallel. And inhale your arms over the head. As you exhale, hold the back of the head and roll your head. Gently contract. Inhale, open the spine. Open the neck, open the chest. Exhale, release down. Gazing down and now opening. Inhale just to warm up the spine. Keep your lower back long and exhale, release. And inhale, twist. As you exhale, contract your lower belly and drop down over your left side, keeping the lower back gently contracted and the sides lifting. Breathe here. Feel the stretch through the sides of the waist. One more breath, go a little lower. Feel your whole spine opening and inhale. Open, reverse the flow, exhale. Inhale, lengthening through the sides of the waist and exhale. Take the movement through the ribs, shoulders down, exhale. Stay here, gentle contraction, stretch your neck and your spine, inhale. Soften the front ribs, exhale, go a little deeper, inhale. And exhale a little deeper. Allow your whole spine to expand and lengthen. Inhale and exhale. Coming here. As you release the hands into the floor, shift your weight forward. Bend the elbows. And take baby cobra. Exhale, release down. Press through the hands. Push back into child's pose. We'll repeat it one more time. Inhale forward. Cat into a flat back. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, baby cobra. Shoulders down. Exhale, press up and back. Lengthening the lower back. Last time, inhale forward. Exhale, bend your elbows, release down. Stay here, slide the tops of the feet to the back edge of the mat. Walk your forearms forward so that the shoulders track over the elbows. Come into Sphinx, press the hands into the floor, press the tops of the feet into the floor, Fan the toes, engage through the legs. And as you exhale, lift your belly. 
Inhale. Bend your knees. Flex your feet. And exhale. Lift your belly. And one more. Inhale. Stay here. Exhale. Inhale. Shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, release down. Slide your hands into your torso. Inhale, gently come halfway through Cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your right knee. And your left. Stretching through the sides of the waist. Lower back is long. Inhale, bend your right. Take a twist. Gaze under the left armpit. Press all the hands into the floor, all the knuckles. And come back up and twist again. Bend your left knee. Drop your head down, shoulders away from the ears. As you drop the left knee into the floor, inhale and lift your right leg up. On the exhale, lower the left elbow down only. Inhale, reach your knee into the shoulder and exhale, go a little deeper. Breathe. Inhale, lift the elbow. And exhale, curl the foot under. Inhale, open the left arm. And exhale, twist. Inhale, right shoulder down. And exhale, twist. Inhale, reach the left hand into the sacrum, and exhale, twist a little bit more, tailbone down. Inhale, one more, and exhale, come back into cat. Lift your right leg up, and one more time, we'll hold here as we drop the left elbow into the floor, and exhale the right knee into the shoulder. We'll feel the spine lengthening and rounding. Inhale up. Just lift the elbow. And exhale. One more time. Inhale, reach. Breathe here. Exhale, drop the foot down to the floor. Walk your left hand so the shoulder tracks over the wrist. And take a twist, bending both knees, reaching the arm back, flex your feet. Open sideways, shoulders down, long tailbone. Now open your neck and chest. Take one more breath here. As you exhale, keep your legs in this position. Drop your left hand, slide your right arm. We're twisting deeply here, and then extend your left arm. The arms reaching to the sides. Feel the twist in your mid-back now. Breathe here, inhale, and exhale, release. And one more time, inhale, reach through your fingertips and exhale, breathe, release. As you inhale, draw your hands further into your shoulders. Lift yourselves up, bring your right knee so that it's in line with the thigh and take a yogic toe lock reaching for the left big toe with your pointer and your middle finger. From here, extend the leg as much as you can. And then exhale, bend the knee, bringing it into the shoulder as you twist gently to your left. We'll do it one more time. Inhale. Like that. And now exhale.
And inhale, lift it. Now exhale the leg into the twist, moving it to your right. Your tailbone moves back. Stay here and breathe. Feel your spine lengthening. And come back to the center. Fold your knee a little bit more to the right. Press your left foot into the floor. Transfer the weight into your left sit bone. And as you lift the right seat off the floor, interlace opposite elbows. Hook the upper arm into the kneecap and drop down. Inhale, breathe here. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, open. And exhale, deepen. Twisting and lengthening the lower back. Opening through the mid back by lengthening. Inhale, reach up. Transfer the weight back into your right sit bone and take an arch here. Opening through the mid back. Reaching your arm back. Continue to open as you keep your lower back lengthening. As you exhale, step your left foot in front of you. Frame the foot with your hands and then slide the right leg back into a lunge. Again, interlacing opposite elbows. Hold your thigh and drop your head. Breathe here. Engage through the back leg. Square the hips as much as you can. Drop your head lower. Deepen the breath. Breathe one more time. As you drop the hands back into the mat, slide your right foot forward into a runner's stretch. Shift your weight back. Flex your front foot. Bring your left hand to your sacrum and take a gentle twist here. Keep on bending the right knee and twisting shoulders away from the ear. Inhale, bend and twist as you reach up. Open through the arms and gently transfer the weight into your right leg. Bending the right knee now, exhale, contract. Interlacing the fingers, shoulders down. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, go a little deeper. Keep your spine rounded here and inhale, reach up. As you bend the knees, take another twist. Gazing back at your middle finger, contracting the lower belly just a little bit. Inhale, expand into all directions. And as you place your hands on your sacrum again, thread and brush the left leg back into a warrior three, supporting the lower back. Flex the foot, engage your abdominals here. Take one more breath, go a little deeper, and exhale, and inhale. Drop your left foot down. Walk your right foot further up, heel toeing the foot. Hold your lower back, bend your front knee, engage through the back leg. Taking warrior two with a shoulder hug. The right arm is over the left, and exhale into Surrendering Warrior. Again, contracting the lower abdomen. Breathing here. Inhale, deepen. And inhale. And exhale one more time. Go a little deeper. Feel the stretch in your spine. And as you exhale, bring the right hand 
to the inside of your right heel. Flex the right heel, bend your left knee. Then walk the left hand into the midline and the right. And once you have your left knee bend, take a twist in modified triangle pose. Deepen the breath. Again, feeling the opening through the spine, right shoulder away from the ear. Inhale all the way and exhale, go a little deeper. Bend the back knee, flex the front foot. Good. Coming into fan pose from here, just close your right foot in. Walk your hands in front of you. And bend your knees. Shifting the hips back. Once you walk the fingertips forward, drop your head down. Sit a little lower. Just breathing here and feeling the connection with the feet planting into the earth and the tailbone dropping down as our spine is extending and reaching outwards. One more breath. And inhale. Stretch here. Heel toe, the heels once and then the feet twice. And as you open the feet a little bit, come directly into Malasana. Seated, squat, shift your weight left and right. And as you press the hands back down, drop the head. Allow the lower back to create more space. Now lift your hips gently up and breathe here. One more time, inhale. And exhale. As you lift your hips up, draw the feet in. Inhale, recover through a flat back. And turn the other way, opening and pointing your left foot forward. Transfer the weight into your left foot. Place your left hand into your sacrum. Bend your knees and reach for the floor with your right hand. Transferring the weight between the foot and the hand. Lift your right leg up. Flex the foot. Draw the right knee into the back of your left. And take a twist. If you wish to bind here in modified Krishna pose, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, staying here with the foot flexed and opening through the spine. Breathe, lengthen, right shoulder away from the ear. Inhale one more time. Exhale, release the foot down. Drop the right knee into the floor. Uncurl the back foot. Walk the hands so that, again, the shoulders trap over the wrists and slide your left leg forward, bringing the hands along the thigh and the shin. Inhale, lift, and exhale, go a little deeper. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Shoulders down, front ribs in, exhale a little deeper. Breathe here. Flex your left foot actively. Relax your neck. Go a little deeper. Come out, just keep on lengthening your spine. Press your left hand into the floor, tip to the left. Release your right leg. Press the foot so that the heel moves into the seat. Ground through the sit bone and hug the knee. Again, interlacing opposite elbows, 
Shoot the energy forward with your head and fold sideways. Keep on breathing. Inhale. Open through the collarbone. Exhale, go a little deeper. Feel your right lower back opening. And one more time. Inhale. Release all the way down. As you lift up, take the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand. Place your right hand into your sacrum again. Begin to twist here. Opening. See how far you can go. And then exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, open a little bit more. Either keep your knee bent and extend your arm or work towards straightening the knee and lifting through the lower back, twisting a little deeper on the exhale, lengthening a little bit higher on the inhale. And one more time, inhale and exhale. And last time, inhale. As you exhale, stack knee over knee. Take eagle bind, placing the left elbow into the right, forearms crossing once, palms crossing twice. Release the elbow into the knee and release your third eye into your wrist. Breathe here and stretch the hamstrings and also allow your lower back to round and lengthen at the same time. Take one more breath, inhale. And exhale, release. And last breath here, inhale, expand. As you exhale, lift up. Open the arms, keep on twisting, following the natural rotation of the foot. And take again, cat pose. Inhale, cat. And exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. Keep the lower back long, open through the mid back. And exhale, cow. We'll repeat the whole sequence on the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. As you exhale, drop the right elbow and start to move the knee into the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, go a little deeper and exhale. Inhale and exhale, inhale, lift the elbow from the ground and exhale, curl your back foot into the floor, press through the metatarsal, shift back and now twist the other way. Square the hips, draw the insides of the thighs together and breathe. Feel the twist in the lower back and the lengthening in the lower back. Inhale, one, and twist a little deeper. And one more time, inhale. And twist, place your right hand into your sacrum. Keep on squeezing the inner thighs together, lengthening through the lower back. Stretching through the back leg, pressing the metatarsal, and then come back to the center. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, drop the elbow down. Inhale, expand. Exhale, start to move the knee into the shoulder. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. And one more, inhale, and exhale. As you lift your elbow from the floor again, 
curl the left foot under. Gently slide your right shin in and then bend both knees. Flexing the feet. Take a twist. Breathe and open. Open your neck. Open your throat. Go a little deeper. Good. From here, retain the configuration in your legs. Walk your right hand down and then slide your left arm open and then hug the earth with the right. Gently rotate your head to your left. Feel the twist. Feel the extension through the lower back, the sides of the waist. Notice how this alleviates tension from the lower back as you gently contract the lower abdominals. One more breath. Good. To come out, press your hands into the floor first. Lift yourself up. Good. Bend the knee. Take yogic toe lock. And extend the leg. Stretching here, making sure the lower back is long. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Knee into the shoulder. One more time. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Twist. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Inhale one more time. This time, twist the leg in the opposite direction. Move your sit bones back into the floor. Let your spine round here. And as you place your foot into the floor, transfer the weight. Pressing the sole into the inside of the foot. Take opposite elbows and gently drop your head down and your ear. Feel your whole spine stretching. So you want to hook the upper arm into the kneecap and drop down, breathe. As you exhale, work towards bringing your knee into the floor. As you inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, drop. Inhale. Lengthen and exhale, drop. Inhale, transfer the weight into the left sit bone. Open into a nice back bend here. Push your groin forward. Keep on arching through the mid back. Keep your lower back long. Inhale, reach. And exhale, open. Inhale, reach a little bit more. And exhale. Step your right foot forward. Slide your back leg into a lunge. The knee tracks over the ankle. Interlace opposite elbows and drop your head down. Now your collarbone is moving into your thigh. Your head is dropping down. Feel the left psoas opening. One more breath, inhale and exhale all the way down, release. Frame your right foot with your hand, slide your left foot into runner stretch. Transfer the weight so that your left knee bends and your right foot flexes and place your right hand into your sacrum. Twist a little bit here. Inhale, breathe. And exhale. 
And one more breath, open. Right shoulder away from the ear. And exhale, transfer the weight into the right leg. Reach the arms up. And from here, bend the left knee this time and cave your spine, round it. Inhale forward and exhale, contract. Inhale, bend both knees and take a twist. Breathe here, square the hips. Gaze back, soften your front ribs. Keep on reaching. Good. And as you come onto your left foot and you bring all the way there, brush your right leg. Place your hands in your sacrum again and come into warrior three. Finding warrior three here. Breathe. And exhale. Tone your abdominals, support your lower back with strong abs, and then step your right foot so that the outside edge plants in. Heel toe your left foot out and come into warrior two alignment. Open your arms. Place your left shoulder over the right and exhale here into surrendering warrior. Breathe. Keep on bending the front knee. Inhale. Expand through your spine. Exhale. Release. Inhale. Keep the spine rounding. And exhale. And one more. Inhale all the way. Exhale. Reach back up. Open the arms. Bend your right knee. Flex your left foot and place your right hand so that it aligns with your navel. Take a twist here. Opening, deepening the breath. Keep on bending your right knee and flexing your left foot. One more breath. Open and twist. And last breath. Expand and then exhale. Close your left foot in. Come into fan pose and this time walk your hands through fan pose. Bend your knees. Stretch your deltoids. Gaze up. Inhale. Lift. And exhale. Contract. Contract your lower belly. Bring your chin to your chest. And inhale one more time. Bend. And exhale. Contract. Stay here. Keep on pressing the hands into the floor. Opening through the cervical spine. And now, Lengthen. We'll transition this time by opening the right foot, transferring our left hand slightly forward to the top edge of the mat. Bend your right knee. Begin to lift the left leg and bring the knee into the knee crease. Stay either here or if you like, you can bind for Krishna pose, twisting the body to the left, breathing, stretching the IT band and the hamstring, and lengthening the lower back. Come back into Krishna, or stay here, placing your right hand into your sacrum, breathe, and open one more, twist. And one more breath. Shoot your back leg into a lunge and lower the knee down. As you uncurl the back foot, transfer your weight 
into your left heel. Hips to heel. Flex your right foot. Walk your hands alongside your shin and begin to inhale and lift and exhale and fold over the leg. Inhale, lift. Open and exhale, fold over the leg. Move your right hip back. Keep the left hip moving front. Inhale one more time. Exhale, drop the head down, surrender fully. Inhale, lengthen here one more time and exhale, release. As you tip to the right to come out of this pose, release your left foot, plant it back into the floor, and interlacing opposite elbows, hugging the knee, flex the right foot and drop the right ear down, breathe here. Feel your lower back lengthening. And drop, keep on flexing the right foot. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop a little bit more. As you inhale, take the outside edge of the left foot with the right hand. And depending on your flexibility, either stretch the knee and extend the arm, gaze back and over your middle finger, or keep the knee bend and continue to lengthen the spine. Choose your variation. As you extend the leg, open fully. Exhale. Bringing the foot in and stacking knee over knee. This time we're going to bring the right elbow into the left. Wrap the forearms and press the palms together as we release the elbows into the knee and release our third eye into our wrist. Breathe here. Keep on engaging through the right leg. Inhale and exhale, release deeper. Inhale, expand. Shoulders down and exhale deeper. And one more stretch, lengthen. And exhale a little deeper. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist. Follow the natural rotation of the foot. And as you come into 12 point pose, Drop your hips to your heels and lift your chin up. Breathe here. As you lift your pelvis, roll onto the crown of the head and roll your chin into your chest. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, look up, and exhale. One more time, inhale, move back, and exhale, shift forward, bring both knees together, and transition into a variation of seated squat, walking the heels into the sit bones, opening the knees out, and now shooting the arms forward. Once you have that, reach, keep on reaching and folding your spine. And as you come halfway through and your lower abdomen has contracted, Push your shins with your upper arms and press your hands into the heart. Breathe here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Drop, inhale, lengthen. Keep on oppositionally pushing the shins back and reaching the crown of the head up. 
And one more time, inhale. And exhale, release down. Just taking a tabletop to neutralize. Inhale, lift. Lift your pelvis, keep your lower back long. Rotate your shoulders to open and drop the head. Breathe here, open your throat. Twist your head to the left and to the right. Inhale, lift. And exhale, drop. And one more breath here. Inhale, lift. And exhale, drop down. Sliding your hips to your heels. Walking the feet forward. Thread your hands through your shins and around the front of the shins and contract. Deep contraction, press the feet into the floor, lift the heels, stretch your spine, stretch your deltoids, and exhale one more time, contract. And press the metatarsals back into the floor, lift up, and exhale, this time hold your thighs, lower down one vertebra at a time. And hug your knees into the chest. Flexing the feet, massage the lower back. Inhaling and exhaling as you press the knees into the chest, inhale, massage and exhale, release. Reverse the circle, moving through the left, inhale, and exhale, and one more time, inhale, all the way, massaging the sacrum, and exhale. As you keep your knees bent, take a happy baby to release the lower back. Hold your shins, Pressing the knees down. If you can get a hold of the soles, press your hands into the soles and lift your head. Breathe here. Inhale. With your elbows, push your knees away. And one more. Inhale. Exhale, release down. Bring your knees into the chest. As you hug your knees tightly, drop to the right into a fetal position. Bring your hands into prayer and roll onto your right ear. Breathe here. Connecting to your inner self and eliciting the parasympathetic nervous system response so that the natural relaxation state of the body is unleashed. Come back to the center, open a little bit, and then tip to the left into fetal position. Press your hands together into prayer and roll into your left ear, deep in the breath. And exhale. And one more time. And out. As you come back to the center, take a gentle relaxation pose and make sure that your knees are bent to prevent overarching in the lower back. With your thumbs, pull your hip creases down and at the same time lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Inhale. Lengthen opposition on the exhale. Release. And last time, inhale. And exhale, release. 
Place your hands into your navel with your thumbs moving into the navel, your fingertips pointing down. Relax your neck. Take deep breaths from your lower abdomen and start to fill up the space through the lungs, through the throat, into your third eye. Inhale all the way up to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, trace the movement downwards from the crown through the third eye, your throat, your chest, your abdomen, until your tailbone. Inhale one more time fully. Amplifying the breath through the lower centers, the lower abdomen. Inhale all the way and exhale. Trace the breath down to its origin. Inhale one more time. Lengthen and exhale. Make sure you're maintaining the natural curve of the spine and you're not over tucking the tailbone here. Inhale. Last time. And as you exhale, release. Good. From here, just press the hands back into the floor. Lift your head, hold your glutes, and bring yourself up into a seated position. Place your hands into your sacrum. And breathe into the space of your back, moving your focus into the background retrieving your authenticity and finding your life purpose as you soothe the lower back as you ground through your center as you radiate your energy outwards into the world gently feel the heat radiating from your palms and bring everything back into the heart in a gesture of surrender. Namaste.